How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Group Mike here. I know a lot of you have been following my instrument journey and forgive me because I haven't really posted any updated video on that. I've been all over the place, but I am still on it. I'm still training for my instrument. But this video is more of, uh, I would say informative video because when you're training for your instrument, there are also things that you're gonna need in the airplane. Possibly additional equipment, possibly additional software, and possibly additional subscription services that you will need. So stay tuned, that's what we're gonna talk about. So before I actually show you what's being done to the airplane, let's, let's share a little bit of information here. Whenever you train for your instrument, your plane that you're gonna be flying, either for training or for actual real IMC or IFR uh, conditions, needs to be well equipped. Now, the Mojo Sling, I've told y'all that it, this is a fully equipped airplane. Well, whenever I've said that, I lied because I recently found out that I actually, I need a particular equipment that was never installed in the beginning. So what I need is a Sirius XM receiver. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Sirius XM, you may actually be familiar with it on maybe in your car where you can listen to live radio and podcasts and all that good stuff, right? Well, Sirius XM also actually offers great weather service, which is what I would need as an instrument rated pilot whenever I'm actually flying in real IMC. And the reason why I wanted to get this was mainly for safety reasons. Uh, unfortunately, you've had situations where, you know, there's been fatal accidents because of delayed weather report. Now, I say the keyword is delayed because oftentimes, for example, right now, with my Garmin G3X Touch and ADS-B that I have in the airplane, I can get weather. I can get a good amount of weather information, but it's not as as fast as I would want them, especially if I'm in a situation where I'm flying IMC. You want the, the speed to get updated weather report, and that's where Sirius XM comes in. So in order for me to be able to get Sirius XM in the airplane, I had to go get an additional equipment, which is what I'm going to show you now. So what I have here, uh, since my main avionics uh, is Garmin, uh, so I just went through Garmin again. What I needed is called a GDL 51 or 51R. The different models to this, you can get a 51, 51R, or what they have now is the GDL 52. Now with the uh, model that I got, and I, here's what the box looks like. You would get a box, you would get an antenna, and now you can have an antenna. What I have is an antenna that's gonna be mounted just on my dash here. But initially what I actually wanted was an outside antenna. That way my cabin and my cockpit is clean. So what I was supposed to get, or what I wanted to get initially, was an antenna like this. It's very similar to a GPS antenna, and I'd already marked to put it right here. And I'm making this video also for anyone who is in the market to do this, or may do it in the future, especially if you're flying an experimental airplane. The good thing for us experimental guys is that we have, we're able to do all these changes without any, you know, crossing any crazy lanes. Uh, it's just a matter of hiring the right people or if you're mechanically inclined and you can do it yourself. So in my case, I do have to hire or I did hire uh, someone who does this, right? This is what they do. So initially I wanted to get uh, an antenna like this mounted just right here, but because I figure uh, with the internal antenna, uh, I just have to have it on the dash and properly just stow it away. Also, from what I understand, I think it's actually less expensive if you go this route. Now, this equipment will cost you anywhere from 600 to, I would say, $800, depending on the dealer or whatever shop you go through. Now, this is what happens, and I don't have good lighting in here, but I can show you um, what's being done so far. Okay, so you can see all my stuff has been out. Actually, they just put this one back in. So the box itself is already behind this here. And what we're going to do now is mount this antenna 
over there and i'll show you guys also once it's finished let me see if i can actually get a hold of it just give me a second here there you go so it's sitting right there the technician went home for the day because he spent all day working on this here we go so this is a very nice portable antenna you say it says sirius xm on it this is a nice portable antenna you would get with your package and this basically will sit on the dash somewhere here just you know make it look clean so it doesn't look too tacky and you know once all the stuff is installed here we're gonna close this back up get my secondary display back up there and before you know it I'll be able to get Sirius XM now the cool thing about Sirius XM is not just that you can have weather again that's the main reason why I'm getting this uh, but also with Sirius XM you can also have radio, podcasts, all that good stuff. Now, I don't imagine that I'm going to be listening to much radio when I'm in flight. There are a lot of pilots who do. But generally speaking, for my flight missions, um, I plan to just use my Sirius XM for weather updates. Now, again, for a lot of folks, you may choose to use your default ADS-B. But to be on the safer side with Sirius XM, you can get much faster updates on your weather, especially when you're in the soup or, you know, weather can, can run up on you, man. I'm telling you, if you look at accident reports, you've had situations where pilots, they take off thinking the weather is good. Maybe the weather is questionable. And then once they're up there, you know, things change very fast. And when that happens, you want to get the quickest update. And that's why I'm personally doing this and spending the extra money. Now, if you were building this airplane or any airplane from scratch and you plan to use it for IMC or instrument flying, then you probably want to have this installed from the beginning. That way you're not adding on. But again, uh, the benefit of, of flying experimental is that you can change it at any point. Now, also, if you look at other planes, for example, my partner's airplane, I believe he, he has his GPS and uh, uh, the the GDL antenna on that side, so like across each other, and then I believe this here has that back here. So again, depending on your airplane, you can always have, you know, your antennas located wherever you need them to be. As a matter of fact, actually, no, Th these he has them back here. So it was like one on this side, one on this side, and then one standing up. So you, you, can, you can pick and choose. But as for me, I'm having the one, the antenna that's gonna be in the cabin. I'm actually, I'm excited to see what it looks like. Uh, again, I, I didn't want one initially because I didn't want it to look clustered in there, uh, but it's very tiny. I actually thought that it would be this big box that I have to put on top of my dash there. Now, if you, if you go for the GDL 52, the, the antenna is much bigger and I'm not with that. So uh, that's why I went with this. Again, the model that I have here is the GDL51R and it's been installed right now. Once it's finished, I'm definitely gonna update you guys. And also we'll, take, we'll go up, we'll take it for a flight and see how it works. Okay, so here is the moment of truth. Let me lower this. Right now, um, the GDL51R is completely installed. I don't know if you can see, that's my antenna. Oh, the stretch of it right there as you can see the entire front is still pretty clean which is what i wanted i didn't want uh, there to be anything interrupting my view or the fact that i have cameras up here but anyway let me get to this real quick i have some databases that are coming expired let's get some backlighting in here you can probably see my reflection all right, let's just get some uh, some light here so you guys can see. I'm actually here today to update my database here, so I'll get it done on that screen first. All right, so while we're here, I hope you can see. Again, sorry for my reflection there. So now that I have my GDL uh, installed, and this is what I really wanted from this. So right now, if I go back to, let me back up here so that way you can see better. If I go to, see right now, I have this uh, SXM right here, 
and you can see it's already collecting data before it wasn't and normally in flight which again i'll also show you whenever i'm flying when i go to weather this is my weather screen here and oftentimes i can get some things again adsb i can get some stuff but because now i have Sirius XM, which is let me make sure it's collecting data from Sirius. Uh, let's see, setup. And just for anyone who's using the G, uh, G3X, this is a good way to do it. See, normally it would say auto, but I now have it on Sirius XM here. Okay, boom. Let's see what's that. Okay, I got that. All right, now let's go back to our weather screen. So if I go to weather screen here, Cloud tops. This was something I was not able to get before through ADSB, but now this screen I can get some things, right? I can get some data, uh, and again, this is a lot more functional when you're flying. Echo tops, nothing to show in there. Lightning. I don't think I, I don't believe I was getting lightning before. Storm cells. That was not data that I was able to get before. Uh, my METARs. I, I was able to get me TARS before through uh, ADSB. Um, Airmet says waiting for data. Sigmet. But my point is, all of these things I would not be able to get once upon a time. But not just that, uh, the speed at which you get the information is much more. It's a lot more fa faster than ADSB or not delayed as much as ADSB. So that's part of it. It's a safety tool. Again, you have to think about, you know, when you're in an emergency and you're flying, you want to have the most accurate data as soon as possible. And that's why I have this. And of course, if I just wanted to listen to some radio, again, I've got all my channels here. I've not even like touched this or try to play with it, but it's just icing on the cake uh, with this. So shout out to SiriusXM for, for hooking us up uh, with the subscription here, but it's a great, great tool and I cannot wait. Uh, to start using it but there it is guys my my uh equipment is now installed again if you're gonna go this route i would honest i would highly recommend the same thing because depending on your airplane and i i hired someone who's really good at what they do they were able to just tuck it in for me outside there that way i still have my clean space if you get the gdl 52 it's a box that stays on the outside. My box is on the inside, which is what I wanted. Uh, so it works out perfectly. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this, just leave in the comments. I appreciate y'all watching and I will catch you in the next video.